Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this Vectors of Motion problem, we're discussing this flying squirrel and the path that it takes as it jumps between two trees. So let's draw a picture so we can better visualize what's happening. So they say that there is one tree that is nine meters tall. So this tree right here is nine meters. And then they say the squirrel flies to a second smaller tree but we don't know how tall this tree is. They say this distance right here is 3.5 meters away. And they say that the path that the squirrel takes from the top of the one tree down to the other tree is at an angle of 40 degrees below the horizontal. So you can tell, obviously, we just drew a right triangle. So I'm going to redraw it so it's a little bit easier to see the triangle. So we have, and I'm going to exaggerate it so it's really obvious. So we have 40 degrees here, right triangle. And then if we take this 3.5 and move it up to the top, we have 3.5 meters there. We don't know what this distance here is, but we don't need it for this step because we're trying to solve for h for the hypotenuse to figure out the path length for the squirrels that flew. So we have the adjacent and we have the angle. So we can use the ka or the cosine of SOHCAHTOA. That of course stands for cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse and we're trying to solve for the hypotenuse. So if we multiply both sides by h, that will give us adjacent is equal to h cosine of theta. And now we're going to isolate h by moving cosine theta over. So h is equal to adjacent divided by cosine of theta. All right, so let's bring this over here and plug in our numbers. So h is equal to the adjacent, which we said was 3.5 meters, divided by the cosine of the angle, which of course was 40 degrees in this case. So h is 3.5 divided by the cosine of 40 degrees. So the path length that the squirrel took is 4.568. So rounding, I'll actually leave it 5. 6 rounding from the 8 up to 9 meters. So we have 4.569 meters for the path length of the squirrel. Now we need to figure out what the height of the other tree is or how high the squirrel is off the ground. So I'm going to redraw our picture super simplified to help you really see what is going on. So essentially what we have is a rectangle. We know that this side is nine meters and the top of our rectangle is, of course, as we discussed, 3.5 meters. Our triangle that we had drawn is right here with the 40 degrees and then that distance right there. So we want to know what the height is of the other tree. And so to do that, if you think about it, all we have to do is take nine minus whatever X is which will give us y, or that distance right here. So now we need to figure out what x is. So we can use the triangle again, and that is the opposite of the angle, and we have the adjacent, so now we're going to be using tangent. Let me bring it off to the side here. So we have tangent of the angle is equal to opposite over adjacent, and we want the opposite, so let's multiply both sides by the adjacent to isolate it. So opposite is equal to the adjacent times the tangent of theta. So now we can plug that into our equation. So 9 minus adjacent tangent of the angle theta is equal to whatever y is. So now we can just plug in the numbers. So 9 minus the adjacent, which we said is 3.5 meters, times the tangent of 40 degrees will equal 9 minus 3.5 times the tangent of 40. So rounded, we have 6.1 meters above the ground.